You enjoyed the interval? Yes. yes. You have your chicken drumsticks and everything? Yeah. No? Is it just us? <laughs> you have hamburgers and stuff? Yeah. Good steak. Or just crisps? Yeah. Uh, you went that way. You should have come this way. <laughs> uh, I'd just like to say uh, again, uh, you know, a lot of my friends are here tonight. Uh, Tom Jones, <laughs> Shirley Bassey, <laughs> Paul Wadsworth. <laughs> no, he is. He is. <laughs> he insures my plane and my cars and everything. <laughs> does he insure anything for you? Yeah, sure. <laughs> he's good. He's good because, uh, you know, my, my plane, I was in a bar the other night in Memphis. And this guy came in and he came into the bar like this, you know. He came up to the bar. He came up to the bar and he said, Do you mind if I have a drink with you? I said, No, no. He said, Have I seen you before? I said, No, well, I don't know. I've been on television. And he said, Whoa. He said, I haven't. <laughs> he said, I went on a plane the other day and uh, he said, From uh, Los Angeles to California. And uh, he said, The engine fell off. I said, Don't worry, he'll turn up. I was with him for an hour. Uh, you mean, it was in the king's arms, you know. Oh, you know it. <laughs> you were there. Yes. Oh. Sorry, I got a family announcement. <laughs> Mercedes sales outside tonight in the interval only raise a total amount of 360 pounds. <laughs> We keep on saying this, and you know, I don't want it to be cheesy or anything, because you know me, I'm a regular guy. You know, my real job is an electrician. No, it is. Bright spark. With a little bit of plumbing on the side. But, uh, have you heard of Abigail Any Electrics? Yeah, yeah. Tracy does. <laughs> uh, but uh, what we do, uh, when we do it, and you, you come here tonight and you spend your money, I think you've raised over two and a half thousand tonight for the charity here. And ticket sales. And I've got to say, it never be a period. I love this theater. I absolutely love this theater. To perform here, before you came, I was here this afternoon with the sound engineer, Nathan, uh, Andy on lights and spots up there. And the guys here, you, they never get a mention. You don't see them. He's behind there doing all the music for me. He's up there doing the spotlights and everything. Can you give a round of applause to the guys in the room? And then, ladies and gentlemen, there's me. <laughs> and then there's the boys in the background. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we're in the second half now, and we're going to enjoy the show. And uh, we're loving it. Hope you are, and uh, we'll keep on going. Uh, great to meet so many of you in the interval. And when we finish the show, we'll be back out there selling some more CDs. What we're going to do is when we raised uh, maybe sold 500, then we'll make some uh, charity money, probably 3,000 pound to whatever charities. If you're here tonight, you don't have to be a charity organizer. If you've got someone that you, 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 uh, someone in your family, something, or somebody that you go to the hospital for, and you're doing it on a regular basis, that's why we're here. Just give us a ring, text me, and just say, Hey Keith, have you thought of this? Have you thought of that? Oh, I drop it now and I say, Elvis. <laughs> say, Elvis, listen, uh, you know, we do. <laughs> you know, can you, can you do this? Can you, can you, um, very often we can, you know, we, we're, just, we're just here for that. So, uh, take it away. Um, this second half, you're going to be helping us out. Take it away, Nathan.
recorded in 1977. It's a sad thing for me because, uh, as a, what was I, 14 in uh, 1977, August the 16th, he released a song on June the 6th in 1977 called Way Down. Oh, yeah. That's favorite. Yeah, well, we're not doing it tonight. <laughs> I'm just telling you a story. <laughs> well, you're going to spoil it, now I have to do it. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to do it? Yes! yes! Way Down. Yes! Okay, wait a minute, just let me think. Way down, way down, way down. You know what, Charlie? You, you can get down to the low, the real low. Way down. Yeah? Okay. Should we do way down? Yeah. Just for you.
very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you. Uh, did anyone see us come down in the Buick tonight? Yes. <laughs> and uh, Nigel's here with uh, Nigel's here with his wife and uh, his friends. I think they're in the fourth row here somewhere. Are you here, Nigel? Yeah, over there somewhere. <laughs> He's a fantastic guy. And uh, I got to tell you the story because everyone's saying, like, look, we saw it on Facebook. How did it happen? Well. I pull into Bailey's garage, as you do when you come home from Memphis. <laughs> no. So I pulled into Bailey's garage, you know, with my black leather jacket on, red silk shirt, white slacks. Jumped out of the car, with glasses on. And he pulled in with this Buick, and I pulled in with my crossfire. <laughs> no, everyone's around my crossfire. No, they were. <laughs> they were around his Buick. And I went up and I said, listen, you know, what a beautiful car. And, you know, and, you, uh, and he was really humble, you know, he just said, he said to me, <laughs> he said to me straight away, you know, I just met the guy, and I'm a friendly type person, walked up to his car and he said, you go one foot closer to that car and I'm going to put you in. He's a big guy, he's six foot two, and I'm five foot ten. Oh yeah. And uh, so when he left, and uh, I didn't make any conversation apart from I thought, oh, I made a mistake. I should have spoken to the guy. So we went to the Indian in Lafayette. So what's it called? Spice Lounge. Spice Lounge. <laughs> you follow me around? <laughs> so we went to the Spice Lounge in Lafayette, and uh, we sat there waiting for a meal, Carrie and I. And uh, then my other girlfriend walked in from Bramau. Uh, <laughs> Sheila, and I couldn't believe it, you know. So I said to Carrie, I'm going to the toilet, man. <laughs> no, so it came in and. And uh, Nigel walked in, and I said to Kerry, I said, that's the guy. That's the guy with the Buick. And she said, don't do this because you've made a mistake before, you know, you got the wrong person. No, I said, it's him. So I went up to the counter and I said, I said, hi. I said, it's me. And he looked like that. He said, if you keep following me around, I'm going to call the police. <laughs> and from there, we made a, we made a, a connection, and uh, he takes us in the Buick, and I'm going to do something for him with his uh, classic cars and everything. So, and he's a, a lovely guy. Can I have a round of applause for Mark? Next song, I just, uh, uh, well, the reason I was talking was to get my breath back because uh, this next one's a big one. It's, uh, see if you know this one. Take it away, Nath.
Film. Uh, what was your favorite Elvis film? King Creole. King Creole. Blue Hawaii. JLS Rock. How about Viva Las Vegas? Viva Las Vegas. Uh, wait a minute. When I do three, one, two, three, you come in, okay? Hey, where are you from? Don't say Nashville. I've been there last year, Birmingham. Birmingham? Yeah. You come for the show tonight? I come especially yeah. for you, Elvis. Oh. <laughs> I went to your house last year and saw your house, saw your grave, saw everything. <laughs> Someone outside said we've been to Memphis and we've been to Nashville, we've been to your house, been to all the things, seen your cars and everything, we've been to your gravesite. <laughs> so I had to answer and I said, honey, I come out every Sunday. <laughs> Uh, you're great people, honestly, God. You, you just, uh, I'm just getting my breath back now, man. Bill Owens, uh, Bill Owens is my sponsor. It's a long night, Bill. My legs will be going tomorrow morning. Okay, let's do Viva Las Vegas. I'm just a lover in a lovely spell. 
ladies and gentlemen, all the way from around the corner where we rehearse. From Western Road. Mr. Charles Hopper. And we fly out into the country. Lanjuri. Just the other side of, Land of Nashville. You've heard of Lanjuri, Tennessee? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff Burrows. From Long Point, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the sexy village of Long Point. <laughs> On guitar. Broken two strings and two legs. But the two strings are repaired. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dave Evans. <laughs> from Vermouth. All the way from Vermouth. Only joins us in the summer because the winter is snowed in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my friend, Mr. Brian Green. <laughs> this guy, a lot of you will know, he was uh, one of the originals with the Elvis TCB band. Then he went in the army, and he's been everywhere. Afghanistan, he's been Iraq, he's been everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Woody Woodford. <laughs> Another guy from Bramau. And uh, it's a special day for him because today is his birthday. Yeah. You want to say happy birthday to him? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mikey. Happy birthday to you. Oh, damn right. Okay, should we move on with the show? Yes. This next song is a song, it's a ballad, it's a beautiful ballad, and uh, it's one of those songs where you don't know with the show, but after the show we're going to, do you know the La Brasseria? 